December 3, 1979 was a typical day in the life of everyone. Uh, there was excitement because the band The Who was making their first appearance in Cincinnati, Ohio. And at that point in, in time, you can make a case to say that The Who was probably the biggest rock band on the face of the planet, and the excitement level was off the charts. It was winter, um, freezing cold. There was a gathering of people on the plaza at the Coliseum that had what were called festival seating tickets, which meant they bought a general admission ticket for $10, did not give them a seat, gave them, them the ability to get inside the facility and then fill in the floor. Um, there was a groundswell of people. For whatever the reasons, the doors of the Coliseum were locked. Um, they would not open them. The crowd heard something coming from within, some kind of a sound check. Uh, one of the doors either opened or was broken open, and everybody pushed. And before you blinked your eyes, it was a disaster. It, it was a sea of human beings pushing, pressing, and being stepped on. And uh, outside, when it was, when the, when the smoke had cleared, so to speak, there was a plethora of clothing and shoes that were all over the plaza because you were pushed and pressed so hard that it would peel the clothing off of you or peel your shoes off of you. And there were piles. I mean, it looked like a war-torn zone. Um, and then the show went on. People got in. The show went on. Those that had reserved seats had no idea what had occurred. The band had no idea what had occurred. Um, but there was a triage going on outside the facility that ultimately 11 people didn't make it through the night. Uh, the PEM Memorial, which is uh, the first initials of the last names of Stephen Preston, Jackie Eckerley and Karen Morrison uh, was, was formed initially as a thought in 2009. Uh, the memorial bench that sits outside the Performing Arts Center was created and there was a dedication ceremony in August of 2010. The way to pay it forward was to create the bench as a remembrance of our friends so that there was something concrete to see that you could touch. The paying it forward part came in the thought of scholarships and that we wanted to take what was a terrible tragedy and try and turn it into something that could be looked at as good. And the good is to take three graduating seniors from Finneytown High School each year they apply for the Penn Memorial Scholarship, www.pemmemorial.org. Um, three are chosen. These are all Jackie Eckerley's. This, is, this was sitting on her desk in her room. These are all personal mementos. Uh, two pictures underneath were done by Steve Preston. The one on the left was hung in his room. No. <laughs> I just don't remember her first name. I should know this. I'm getting old. <laughs> Anna Amen. All of the family's lives were materially altered that night. Uh, all of the three of them's friends' lives were materially altered that night. Their trajectories took a completely different path. Uh, it's, it's a combination of being from here, being from Finneytown, knowing that nothing had ever been done on behalf of these kids, and it should have been, so it was the right thing to do, 
and to try and give an outlet to people where they can come and express and feel a lot of warmth and love. And it, it is it's like a giant love fest when you come to the memorial. It, it's a lot of fun. It, it's almost emotionally exhausting, to be honest. I think I was sick for a week afterwards last year. It was so taxing. But it, I can't imagine not doing it. You know, we're dealing with real people here. This is not a, not, this is not a, a movie. This is something that really happened. So then you kind of get in politician m mode. You know, what do I say that is not going to get me into more trouble? And I'm in trouble already because this was our gig. This was a who gig at the height of our powers. And um, 